Hello everybody and welcome back to LLB Society, our YouTube channel. This time I'm gonna narrate a story from Aesop entitled uh, The Miller, His Son and the Donkey. Uh, Alright, so this story. A miller and his son were driving their donkey to a neighboring fair to sell him. They had not gone so far or far when they met with a troop of women or a group of women collected round a well, well means a spring, a source of water, uh, talking and laughing. Look there, cried one of them. Did you ever see such fellows to be trudging? means walking along the road on foot when they might ride. The old man, hearing this, quickly made his son mount the donkey, means get on the donkey, uh, and continue to work along merrily, happily, by his side. Presently, and shortly after that, uh, they came up to a group of old men in earnest debate. debate. Earnest debate means a serious uh, dispute or argument. There, said one of them, it proves what I was saying. What respect is shown to old age in these days? This is a rhetorical question whose answer is clear. It means people don't show respect to old people, to the elderly. Do you see that idle lad riding while his old father has to walk? Idle means lazy lad, young man. So there is a, a contrast or irony of situation the old man is supposed to ride on the donkey and not the other way around. Get down, you young scapegrace. Uh, scapegrace uh, is a disapproving word uh, in response to or in reference to, let's say, in reference to a young lazy person. And let the old man rest his weary limbs weary means lay means tired exhausted limbs means body organs upon this the old man made his son dismount the opposite of mount and got up himself in this manner they had not proceeded or continued far when they met a company of women and children Uh, company means group. Why, you lazy old fellow, cried several tongues at once. How can you ride upon the beast while that poor little lad there can hardly keep pace by the side of you? It's clear. No further explanation is required. The good-natured Miller immediately took up his son behind him. They had now almost reached the town. Pray, honest friend, said a citizen. Is that donkey your own? Yes, replied the old man. Oh, one would not have thought so, said the other. By the way, you load him. It means there is so much burden or load on the poor donkey. Why you two fellows are better able to carry the poor beast than he you, instead of he, car instead of uh, being carried by he, by him. Him refers to the donkey here. Anything to please you, said the old man. We can but try, so alighting 
with his son means dismounting or getting off the donkey they tied the legs of the donkey together and with the help of a pole or rod endeavored means tried very hard to carry him on their shoulders over a bridge near the entrance to the town this entertaining sight brought the people in crowds to laugh at it till the donkey not liking the noise nor the strange handling that he was subject to broke the cord that bound him and tumbling off or falling down the pole fell into the river so you see that the donkey just a kind as a matter of fact commits commits suicide or kills himself upon this the old man vexed annoyed and ashamed made the best of his way home again convinced that by endeavoring to please everybody he had pleased nobody and lost his donkey in the bargain or negotiation okay thank you so much for your attention by the way uh, there is a Persian version of this uh, uh, fable Aesop's fable translated by me available at the Little Society thank you so much and uh, see you in our next video bye